Welcome to the Integrative Psychiatry and Wellness Program's Brief RAIN Meditation. My name is Debbie Cohen, and I will be leading you in today's practice. So RAIN Meditation is um, something I learned from Tara Brock, who does a lot of work with self-compassion. And this is a practice that is specifically for, it's a structured meditation that's specifically for content in our lives that's difficult to take in. It's challenging, difficult stuff we'd rather not think about. But it gives us a chance to look at it consciously and, um, and find a way of being with it that's more comfortable. So for this practice, you can lie down or you can sit upright and rest your hands on your legs, but close your eyes if that's comfortable or just steady your gaze at one spot and uh, get relaxed. Let your breath flow naturally. And during the practice, you can just keep, keep some awareness of the breathing as well. So RAIN is an acronym and the R in RAIN stands for recognize. So choose some content in your life that's troublesome, that keeps coming up, it intrudes on your uh, peace of mind a little bit. Maybe not the hardest thing ever for, for today, but something. Maybe some loss or some source of frustration. And give yourself a moment to really recognize that it's not easy. It's difficult. It's, it's causing some upset. The A in RAIN is for accept or allow. So allow this situation to be exactly as it is. And in that, uh, the feelings that come up for you when you consider it, when you reflect about on it, um, that's okay too. You don't have to feel fantastic about it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to have chosen it, but just accepting it as it is and, um, and as it is for you specifically, allowing it to be just that way. The I in RAIN is for investigate with an open mind, with curiosity, and with kindness. So when you reflect on this difficulty, this challenging content, what thoughts come to mind? What makes this so difficult? What are you believing to be so about the situation? And what emotions arise for you when you reflect on this? As you reflect on it now, are there any body sensations you're awareness, aware of? Any tightness, muscle tension? What's the breathing like? And N is for not identifying. And in a way, by stepping back and investigating with an open mind as we have, we really already have pulled back, allowing all the feelings and thoughts to be there. We've already not identified. It's a little easier perhaps to recognize that this is a situation, but it's not all of your life. So it's a li little easier not to take it quite so personally, hopefully. And is also for nurture. So if there's something that would be nice for you to know or hear right now, if you were sharing about this situation with your a really good friend who knew just what you'd wanna hear, 
What might you hear? What might be good for you to know now? Okay, and if you're lying down, you can come back up to sit. If your eyes are closed, you can open them. Again, my name is Debbie Cohen, and this is brought to you by the Integrative Psychiatry and Wellness Program. If you'd like to reach out to us, you can do so by contacting psychwellness at umn.edu.